rabbits these days are nowhere near the problem they used to be. Back in 32, they were crawling up that hill up there just like ants. Honestly, if you only seen it. <laughs> rabbits were pretty rampant. So there was all these ideas of how to get rid of them and uh, poisoning, trapping, shooting. For many years, nobody knew what this was. And my grandmother, great-grandmother, had there was a picture of her holding one of these and we thought it was a gun. And then one day a fellow came to the museum, saw the photo and said, oh, I've got one of those over in the shed. He said, uh, I'll bring it over. So we brought it over and we found out what it was. Uh, made by WH Hines in Sydney and Melbourne. The Knox Ore, Pollard distributor. Pollard was put into the tube here and it was mixed with sulphur, which then became a poison and dug a trench not very deep and in the end of the Pollard distributor to the valve which let the mixture come out of the bottom so you push the lever down like that and you push it along in the trench and once that was filled you then covered it up and along came the rabbits and they ate that and uh, that eradicated them My great-grandmother was right into rabbiting because rabbiting and catching rabbits was also a source of income. They used to sell the pelts. I know they made uh, felt out of them. They also but they make a Kubra hats out of rabbit pelt. Oh, we, we live on damn rabbits, so don't talk about it. Well, rabbits were a part of our life. That's, that's a fact. In my young days, they were. We, we never had any money. Money was nothing. You hardly had anything. And only for the rabbits, we wouldn't have a cent. They kept families a lot uh, in this world, as the saying is. <laughs>